Hello. I haven't talked to you in a while. Actually, that's a lie. I saw you last week, didn't I? Yeah, I think that's right. If you know the channel pretty well, you know I don't just jump into things this quickly into a video. I usually have the uh, intro and all that kind of fun jazz. Today is a special, actually more so a different video, just because of the style and how everything is actually being planned through the whole video. Easy way to say it, this is like a vlog, but long story short, this is gonna be a vlog. I just said that. But I'm gonna be putting pictures over my time frame and how everything happened. And as you can clearly tell by the title as well, it was my trip to Nashville I took how um, what was it? Three months ago. Um and well, let's just say the first day nonetheless was completely insane. But if the people here who don't really give a damn about these kind of videos come back next week and join me for a proper tech review. Okay, now that they're gone. Hi, how's everybody doing? Um, today is a vlog. How many times have I said that? Anyways, getting right into today's story, um, day one of my trip to Nashville, as I just said, was kind of hectic, but it kind of worked itself out. So the whole thing basically kind of started at around, let's actually make sure so I don't screw up a time card, 4.45 in the morning. The whole thing kind of started that I woke up, I was originally, shut up, I was originally supposed to have a flight out of Logan Airport, 7.30, 7.45, something like that. But then it got changed, actually, when I woke up, the first thing I noticed was... My flight has been delayed, and that was actually, at first, kind of like... Okay, I have a little more time to relax before I get to the airport. But let's actually turn on the news to see if there's a reason why for the delays, because you 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 know, things happen. Anyways, I get up, shower, breakfast, all that fun stuff. My parents are driving me to the airport, so we went downstairs, we turned the TV on to see what's going on, and I'm flying Delta, and the second we turn the TV on, we see live newcast from the Delta terminal. What's going on? I forget exactly what it was, it was some weather advisory or mechanical problem. I completely forget what of this, but the entire Delta terminal was completely like bonkers. I just say it was bonkers. Well, I'm kind of like, okay. Flight's delayed, the terminal is completely backed up. What is gonna happen? But I didn't think much of it at first, so we just got everything in the car. Parents got in the car, drove me up to the airport, say I love you, goodbye, see you, and all, and all that fun stuff. And then the best thing happened. And when I mean the best thing, two things happened. One, as I'm going to the airport, my flight got delayed again. We're on our way up there. I'm not gonna think too much of it. Let's just go get this over with. My dad's actually on the phone with Delta dealing with the whole thing for me. Thank you, daddy. I love you. Cut that, make sure we cut that part out. So he's on the phone with Delta trying to figure this whole thing out. And well, actually we do figure all this out. And by the time we're about finished with the phone with Delta customer service, and well, we're literally about to pull in to the uh, traffic lane getting into the airport. If you know the uh, Boston area, how you get into Logan, you know exactly what I mean. As we're literally getting onto the ramp, number two. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I laughing about this? Because this is a pretty serious situation right now. I was like, what in the living <laughs> is going on? Long story short, I forgot my wallet. Um, the number one thing you need to bring to an airport is your wallet. I did end up getting my wallet, if you're curious. Made, made sure I had to. I don't know how the whole thing happened, but I ended up getting it before my flight. Crisis averted there. But anyways, as we go into the terminal, holy mother of God, look at this picture. It was absolutely insane how many people were there. So first of all, I thought, okay, my mom wants to get my wallet to me. My dad and I are gonna go get a coffee and maybe a little breakfast and just hang out for a little bit. That's exactly what we did. We got a coffee, some breakfast, watched the airplanes fly, taxi, do whatever airplanes usually do. Just kind of hung out. And then by the time, about 45 minutes before my actual flight, I actually did get through security. I was already all checked in on my mobile app. It was actually going fairly smoothly. I got the wallet, everything is going good, A plus. And just for reference, I don't know if you can even say that. This was around 11 o'clock, I was on the airplane. And at this point, I'm kind of like, Am I gonna make my connecting flight? The answer was no, but again, as I was saying earlier, my dad talking with Delta on the phone, I got a new connecting flight 20 minutes after I got to Atlanta, Georgia. My final destination was Nashville, Tennessee. Crisis averted. But the greatest thing about this whole experience so far today, if I can find it, blah, 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 blah. Yep, 
right here. This was at 1.44 p.m. Two hours till next flight. Wicked excited for the next one. Delta has customer for life, great airline. Again, I'll put all the stuff on the uh, screen. It was actually pretty good, pretty smooth getting through Atlanta, Georgia airport. I don't know what the airport is. I'm just gonna be saying that. It's like 1.50 and then at around the time of 2.45, all good. I'm just quick in, go in through the whole uh, shebang, get a quick snack use the restroom, do whatever I had to do, and then get on the plane. And if there was one thing I was pretty excited about was when I said right here, we get excited for the next flight, um, was because I got the connect connecting flight right on time and Delta actually did something in my favor to help me, which they did not need to do. It was a very short flight from Georgia to Nashville. They didn't need to do this. Long story short, I got first class. Big boy, big boy. I was actually pretty excited about it. It was a smaller airplane, wasn't going that far of a distance, didn't really get any amenities or anything special, besides a blanket and actually a pretty comfy pillow. I was pretty stoked. I was actually like, is this real? Is this happening? Is this first class? Again, I knew it was a really quick flight, but uh, I was excited for it. Lots of leg room. Again, I have clips right here. I was excited for this quick 45 minute flight just to sit in that first class. I'm walking in and the guy's looking at me like, hey kid, you got this seat? Yeah. So I was gonna shoot in the uh, with this guy for a little bit. So it was a good experience, it was fun, and then when we finally got there, the stress continued. And it kind of began at first being more crazy about me trying to get my connecting flight and everything, but my biggest concern was trying to get to my event to where we're supposed to be at. And this was because where I was going, they didn't really have anybody to come pick me up at the airport because everything was so busy. Really quick backstory, if no one really knows exactly what I'm talking about. Every year I go to this conference called the IMDSA, International Down Syndrome Association. Brandy, um, if I got that wrong, just uh, let me know. Thanks. They were so busy, they weren't able to actually help me out. But I was freaking out a little bit because I had to figure out a way to get there. If you would think, easy solution. Uber. Great. I have been very hesitant to use Uber in the past because of all the stories I have heard. I was super stressed out about this. I really was. My mother was trying to calm me down, talking to her on the phone and everything. Everything was just so discombobulated. I'm about to have a panic attack. <laughs> Literally a panic attack. Long story short, it was actually a fantastic Uber experience for the first time. The gentleman's name was Derek. Thank you, sir. That was actually... It, it seems weird to me talking this highly of Uber for the first time using it. He was just a very, very nice guy. Good taste in music, very comfy car ride. I liked this car, by the way. It was some kind of Chevy car. I usually hate Chevys, but this was a pretty sweet ride. He was a very nice guy. He actually got me a snack for the ride because the distance for where the airport was to my following location was about a good hour, 20 minutes away, but no problems there. Super nice guy. Derek, thank you so much. That was very fun. Also extremely, extremely stressful, but it kind of worked itself out, I guess. So yeah, it was kind of a really, really, really hectic morning for me. If you put all of that into perspective, going through my brain, because again, I have ADHD. I'm not sure if anyone's ever heard me say this before. If you've been viewing this channel for a long ass time, thank you. Hi, how you doing? I've had that before, and this is another reason why I go to this uh, conference to talk about these things, and my brain was going off the walls absolutely bonkers. The whole thing kind of worked itself out. I ended up getting there a little bit later than expected, but when I got there, I met up with some friends. I was gonna stay in a nice little log cabin with my buddy. The place where we were going was called Jellystone. Jellystone Cave National Park, I forget exactly what it is. I'll put a picture of the uh, logo right here. It was very fun. The first night wasn't the greatest. I was sleeping in a very small cot. We figured all that out fairly quickly. Um, the food there the first day was eh, it was okay. It was just a burger and a hot dog. It was fine. Probably the airport food compared to that was probably much better. Um, it, again, it was just a very, very, very hectic day as you can hear from the whole timeline. Again, with my brain, it was very hard for me to take all of this in. It was just so much fun after actually everything kind of got settled, but it still was pretty crazy. But I appreciate you guys checking out this video and even hearing this story. This could be a three or four part series. I forget exactly how many days I was there for, but I'm doing the whole thing again next year out in California. Super stoked for that. Part two, when it will be uploaded, will be on screen here, here, or whatever the iCar usually is. I appreciate you guys coming out and checking out this video and listening to my story. Um, again, the next movie will be up whenever I decide to record it, hopefully soon. But anyways, you guys, I really do appreciate you coming out and checking out this video and listening to my story. And I'll see you guys the next, hopefully, tech video. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it so much. And thank you. And what am I doing? <laughs> and as always, guys, make sure to stay tuned for more.